All right. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome. My name is Sherry. 60 minute, 26 postures, two breathing exercises. Kathy is doing our awesome, being our awesome student today. I want you to have the most amazing class right here, right now. Remember, I like to say whether you're in the yoga room or here online at your wherever you are doing your yoga, no expectation. So I say that a lot, but then I started realizing I've been taking some of these online courses since we're not able to be in a nice hot room right now. It even means more. It doesn't mean don't try. It means there is really no reason to have an expectation on yourself. You are going to be shocked when you really be aware of that, that your body, your mind, maybe go to different places when you just say, let's see what happens. And since you're in your own space right now, you don't have to worry about other people there, what's going on, just see what happens. I've actually noticed a couple of my postures without expecting it have gone deeper. So who knows? Maybe. Kathy may be in the standing splits today, y'all. Who knows, oh, right? Go. No go. expectation. Are you guys ready? Yes. Let's do it. Let's bring your feet together. Toes touch. Thighs tight. Glutes tight. Stomach in and weight back on your heels. Now pull your belly button to your back bone. Interlace fingers under your chin. Breathe. Remember, yoga is about non-judgment of yourself. Enjoy your yoga. Begin. Inhale. Head down, arms up, arms and head move, six second motion. Exhale, head up, push your head back, way back, elbows come together up, away from the chest, now hold. Inhale, slow, controlled flow. Stomach in, chest up, elbows up, exhale, head up. It's a six second synchronized motion Elbows hold at the end. Inhale by your nose. Feel it in your throat. Suck your stomach in. Elbows up. Exhale, head up. Open your mouth. Here, Kathy, H-A. <sighs> Inhale by your nose. Feel it in your throat. Exhale by your mouth. Now, as you do that, when you're exhaling by the mouth, you're gonna feel the abdominal strength pushing the air out. Inhale, each time, inhale a little bit more right at the end. Exhale, head up. Interlace fingers right here like this, tight underneath the chin. Inhale, stomach in. The more you suck your stomach in, the more you use your lungs. Exhale, head up. Only arms and head move, no backward bending, spine straight and hold. Inhale. Prepare your body for class. Get circulation going. Prepare your mind for class. Exhale, head up. So what does that mean? When you're focusing on breath, you're preparing your mind because it cannot chatter when you're focused on breath. It's calm in the moment. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful, Kathy. Strong HA. Inhale. Stomach in. Open your rib cage. Open your lungs. Full lungs. Exhale. Head up. Only arms and head move. No backward bending. Spine straight. Inhale. It's about three seconds to bring your head down, then elbows, four, five, six, hold. Exhale, head up. Letting the lungs register the inhale and exhale. That's why every now and then say hold, just so you have that little moment of stillness in between. Inhale. Belly in. Chest up. Elbows up. Exhale. Stomach in. Weight on the heels, elbows touch. Inhale, stomach in. Compression of the abdominal wall. 
contraction of the abdominal muscles, suck it in, tightening it up, exhale, head up. Exhale all the air out, get rid of everything you don't need. Exhale, 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 inhale, pull in everything you need. Right here, right now, elbows up, exhale. Hips forward, glutes tight, spine straight, and that's enough. Arms down to the side. Half moon. Feet together, arms overhead. Interlace fingers. Release index fingers. Thumbs cross. Tight grip. Hands, palms. Touch like glue. Up to the wrist. Very important to get more of the upper part of the back. Squeeze to the wrist. Feel it. Stretch up. Bend your body right and left. Another great thing about doing it in your face forward. Arms back. Chin up, stomach in, left hip forward, hips align, right shoulder forward. Open your chest, squeeze your palms, exhale, push your hip left, push, push, inhale, stretch up. Arms back, chin up, reset, inhale, stretch up, slowly bend left. Remember, slowly is there for a reason. Let the body open up, down the right side of the body, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to toes, hips forward, arms back, chin up, always breathing. If you remind yourself of that, you're 100%. Right hip forward, hips aligned, left shoulder forward, open your chest. Now suck your stomach and feel your right hip. Exhale, push, 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 hold. Inhale, stretch up, backward bend. Take a deep breath, drop your head. Look for the floor, truly just let it relax. Hips forward, squeeze your glutes, releasing the hip flexor from the backward bend. Important, every backward bend, you're gonna hear this. Inhale, lift your chest, arms go back. Whole spine bending backwards. Weight on your heels. We miss that part so often. Feel the weight on your heels. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach back. Weight on the heels. Go back. You got it, Kathy. Way back. More back. Inhale, come up. Stomach in. Bend your knees, hands on the floor. So I thought I saw her go deeper than normal. No expectation. She's just letting it happen. Bend one knee, straighten the other leg. Let your hips move up and down. Squat down if that feels good. This is your little warm up. Getting your lower back loose, easy, flexible, comfortable. Here we go. Padastasana. Bend your knees. Grab your heels from behind. Step on all five fingers. Baby fingers touching. If you're not quite there to grab your heels, grab behind the calf. And if the elbows aren't reaching around more, release some of the finger and just step on that first finger joint. Feel that? Now pull, stretch your body down. Stomach on thighs, chest on knees, face on legs below the knees. Put your face there. Push your knees back. Try to lock your knees. They may not lock. You'll hear me say, lock them. You're working towards it. Pull, roll forward, lock your knees. Exhale, pull and slide the top of your head towards your toes. Oh, you're there. Last chance, lock your knees. Stomach in, inhale, come up. Arms with your ears. Stretch up, exhale, arms down and stillness. So notice that. Movement and stillness in balance. There's always that little balance in between. Second set, here we go. Arms overhead, palms together. Interlace, release, thumbs cross, tight grip. Stretch up. Inhale, slowly bend right. So remember, second set, body and mind know what to do so you can try harder. You can get more from it. Exhale, hips left. Use your breath. If you're right there in the moment, inhale, stretch up to the right. Use your right hand. Exhale, hips to the left. Now, notice this beautiful half moon shape. Inhale, stretch, even lift that left side body up. 
to create a beautiful, smooth half moon. No jagged edges. Hips forward, arms back, chin up, left hip forward, right shoulder forward. Now exhale, push, push, push. Inhale, stretch up. Nice. Arms back, chin up. Inhale, stretch. Slowly bend left. Lock your elbows. Chin up. Arms back. What if you can't bring your chin up? You're going too deep. Just bring your chin up. Go where you can go. Inhale, stretch. Look at this half moon shape. Exhale, hips right. Think of that right side body. Inhale, stretch, lift. Exhale, push. Stomach in. Right hip forward. Left shoulder forward. Squeeze your palms. Exhale, push. Push, push, inhale, stretch up, backward bend. Take a deep breath, drop your head, look for the floor behind you. Let it go. Hips forward, inhale, lift your chest, arms go back. Whole spine, lower, middle, upper back, bending backwards. Weight on your heels. Be aware of that. Are you rolling to the balls of the feet? Weight back on the heels. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, arms back. Go back. More back. Reach back. Inhale, come up. Stretch. Bend your knees. Hands on the floor. Just a quick right, left. It is a U-turn from back bend to forward bend. Be careful as your spine's warming up. Right, left, right, left, right, left. And here we go. Bend your knees. Bend them, grab your heels from behind and feel stomach on thighs, chest on knees. That's what's often coming off is your chest. So squeeze your chest on your knees. Elbows wrap around, face on legs, push your knees back. Try to lock your knees. Roll forward, weight on the toes, pull. Legs stretch, hips stretch. You're going to hear this again on some of these forward bends. Lower back, whole spine, bend knee. Feel the stretch, pull, top of the head to the toes. Exhale, pull, lock your knees. Stomach in, inhale, come up, arms with your head. Nice exit, Kathy. Exhale, arms down. You did that. Here we go. She had no expectation. She's doing it like you. Here we go. Awkward. Right foot to the right, six inches apart. Heels invisible behind the toes. Plant your feet. Arms up. Squeeze your fingers together. Flat palms give you better extension than cupping. Stretch. Touch right in front of you. Reach forward. Exhale. Stomach in. Hold it. Sit down. Feet flat. Weight Back on your heels, stretch, lift your chest, see your ribcage, now pull your stomach in, keep breathing, open your knees, six inches, toes, heels, knees, hands, go back, more back, way back, go back, inhale, come up, concentrate to meditate, stretch, arms tight, stand up on your toes, stretch your spine, chest, top of the head to the Three, two, one, go. Sit in the chair. Knees up. Chest up. Upper body back. Higher on your toes. Knees up to the ceiling. Sit in the chair. Not below it. Inhale, come up. Heels down, third part. Focus, stretch. Come up a little on the toes. Squeeze your knees tight. Hold a piece of paper between your knees. Exhale, spine straight, slide down the wall. Ten counts. All the way down, lean against the wall. And if you're not quite be able to get down low, open the knees a little bit if there's an issue with the knees. Get down there, stretch up, half inch gap, hips and heels. Point your knees forward, knees parallel, knees down, thighs parallel, arms parallel to the legs. Take a deep breath, squeeze your knees tight, slide up the wall. Nice exit, Kathy. Feet together. The exits often are the hardest part, but where you can even really add more benefit. 
So be always mindful of those exits. Way to do it. Eagle, arms overhead. Let's get the joints. Right arm under the left. Cross, twist, thumbs towards your face. Work your wrists a little bit. Remember, thumbs point towards you, not away from you. Pull, sit low, arch back, weight back on your heels again. Lift your chest, right leg high over the left. Twist your legs, foot behind the calf. Everybody, wherever your foot is, doesn't matter. Everybody, you sit another inch. Your foot is closer to the calf, getting more compression. If it's behind the calf, slide it down. No gap, ankle and calf. Lift your chest. Knees go right, upper body left. Feet, knees, elbows, hands, one left. Sit down more. Feel that compression. Suck your stomach in. Elbows down, upper body back. Change, arms overhead, left arm under the right. Again, the setup, the exit, both important. Work your wrists, straighten out your wrists. Even if the fingers aren't lined up properly, all the way edge to edge, that's okay. Work your wrists, squeeze your palms together, pull down, sit low, arch back. Weight on your heels, left leg high, high over the right. The higher, the better. Wherever your foot is, squeeze your if it's behind there, slide it down. No gap, ankle and calf, lift your chest. Knees go left, upper body right. Everything lined up, getting that compression, restriction of fresh oxygenated blood flow, and then whoosh, releasing it. Sit, elbows down, upper body back. Change, arms over head, arms to the side, nice. Get a little water if you like it, and then we're gonna go into balancing. All right. A lot of balancing is just in the head. Focus. You listen to each part of it. If you do have a balance issue, do not ever give up on the balancing series. Just go to your wall, stand with your standing leg against the wall, Use that, don't hold on to the wall, just use that as a little extra, but don't give up and think, okay, I'll wait till we're done with the balancing, because that's how you're gonna improve. So here we go. Shift your weight, suck your stomach in, lift your right leg up, interlace fingers, thumbs in the grip, about two inches below the toes, not your arch or your heel, closer to the toes, the ball, the foot. Look straight ahead. Lock your standing leg. With all that, inhale slowly, right leg lift up till parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. If your standing leg loosens, that is not locked. Thigh contracted is locked. Go and lock it. Breathe. Kick your heel. Toes back. Stomach in. Chest up. Both knees locked. Upside down L, elbows down. Elbows to the calf, eventually elbows go below the calf. Kick your heel, turn your toes back. Change, come out as you enter. Weight on the right foot, talking about those exits, right? Weight on the right foot. Distribute the weight equal on your right foot. Press it down, lift your left leg up, grab your foot, interlace grip, tight grip. That's what you're working towards, webbing to webbing. When your hands are tight, the elbows and shoulders can relax a little bit. Get tight grip, feel your right leg, lock it. Thigh tight is the goal. Inhale, slowly left leg lift up. Lead with your heel. Kick, toes back, stomach in, chest up, breathe. Both knees locked. Upside down L, then only elbows down. Elbows to the calf, eventually below the calf. Change, come out as you enter, leg down, nice. Hands on your hips, slight backward bend just to release the pressure from the forward bend. So second set of this posture, standing head to knee, amazing. This is where you really use that first set to kind of set you up, get that stretch. Now you're ready. Let's see where you can go. 
Weight on the left foot. Lift your right leg up, grab your foot, interlace grip. Already feel your foot flex. Bring your heel out from underneath your buttocks. Left thigh, no knee, contracted thigh. Lock it, inhale, slowly right leg lift up. Lead with your heel, turn your toes, stretch Achilles tendons above the heel. Suck your stomach in and lift your chest up. Both knees lock solid, elbows down. Elbows below the calf, here we go, body down. Chest down, tuck your chin, put your forehead on your knee, kick your heel, toes back, kick, change, come out. Hey, if you've got that upside down L, go for it. Just try it. Remember, no expectations. See what happens. Weight on the right foot. Lift your left leg up. Interlace grip. Bulldog determination. Lock your standing leg. Inhale slowly. Left leg lift up. Kick your heel. Yes, lift your chest. Suck your stomach in. Both knees locked. Elbows down. Elbows to the calf, below the calf. Here we go, you got this. Body down, chest down, tuck your chin, put your forehead on your knee, kick, toes back, change. Lay down, nice job. Hands on your hips, slight backward bend. Standing bow, right up, hold your money everyone. Bring your hand right, drop it down, keep your arm open, and grab inside ankle, tight grip. Again, hear that again, that tight grip is a big part of it. Thumb is with the fingers. Left arm up, bring it back. Knees squeeze together to start, hips forward a little. Focus on feeling your standing leg lock solid. Inhale, stretch, come down. Come down, bring the body down. This is an inversion, flush the heart, body down. Abdomen, chest parallel to the floor. Kick up, see your foot come over the top of your head. Keep kicking, it's a backward bend. Left shoulder pulled invisible behind the right. Stretch, touch the mirror, now stretch your shoulder to your chin. Body down, kick back. Kick hard, kick up, kick up, kick, change. Leg down, left side. Now, awesome Kathy. She fell out, but she fell forward. That means all the form was there. She just went to her edge. Remember I said no expectations. She was like, let's see what happens. So if you fall out and you fall forward, the form was there. Way to do it, Kathy. Left hand up, bring it out to the left. Lower it down, keep the elbow next to the body, grab inside ankle. Point your toe, knees together to start, right arm up, bring it back. Hips forward a little bit. Focus on your locked leg, feel it. Even if you can't see it, maybe better for that. You can really feel that locked leg. Inhale, come up and come down. Body down, abdomen, chest parallel to the floor. Body down, kick up, body down, kick. Two feet, one line, left shoulder, pulled invisible behind the right, stretch, stretch your shoulder to your chin, body down, you're there. Kick back, kick hard, kick up, body down, kick up, kick up, kick, change. Leg down, now breathe, arms to the side, moving blood from one side of the body to the other, great for circulation. Second set, right arm up, bring it out to the right. If you're newer to this and unsure of the grip, you should look at your arm and be able to see the inside where you give blood facing out. That's the proper grip. Grab inside ankle, tight grip at the ankle bone. Left arm up, bring it back. Knees together to start. Hips forward a little. Focus on feeling the lock leg. Inhale, come down. More of the weight is on the ball of the foot. You're forward. Your body is coming down. Abdomen, chest parallel. Kick, stretch, equal. Body down more. Kick up. 
Left shoulder, pull behind the right, stretch, stretch, shoulder to your chin, body down, kick, kick up, kick, kick, change, nice. Leg down, left hand up, bring it out to the left, lower it, grab your ankle. Middle finger ankle groove, that's the proper grip. Right arm up, bring it back. Knees together, hips forward. Even think about squeezing your left glute a little as we kick, helping to release that hip flexor. It feels better on the knee too. Here we go. Feel your left leg, inhale, calm down. Kick, stretch, body down, kick up, kick up. Two feet, one line, breathe, left shoulder, Behind the right, stretch, stretch shoulder to your chin, body down, kick back, kick hard, kick up, kick, 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 body down, kick, change, yes, leg down, nice, right into balancing stick, feet together, arms overhead, interlace, release, thumbs crossed. Stretch up, inhale, right leg steps forward. Now stretch up again. Look how she lifted up. Point your back toe, come down. Capital letter T, come right into it. Again, an inversion, flush your heart, come down. Leg up, chin forward. Eyes look three feet in front of your mat. Leg up, lock your knee, point your toe, stretch, change. Come up, keep the arms up, keep the heart rate up. Here we go, left leg forward, point your back toe, lock both knees and go. Capital letter T, you are in this to win it. Chin forward, leg up, sole of the foot to the ceiling, align your hips. Chin forward, point your toe, stretch, stretch, change. Nice letter T, Kathy, arms up, arms down to the side, you got it. Step, depending on what your floor is, I'm going to have Kathy step to the left side of her mat. You can be on your mat or step over your mat. Feet together, arms overhead, standing, separate legs, stretching. And I have to tell you, if you don't think you're sweating, Kathy's sweating, and I even turned the air conditioning down. So she is working hard, Kathy. Arms overhead, right foot steps to the right, four feet, arms down. Heels aligned, toes in, Thighs tight, stomach in, exhale, chin up, slowly bend forward. So when you have no expectation, you're just going. Your body's saying, let's do this. And that's where that sweat starts coming, even without the heat. We love the heated room, just a different practice. Chin forward, lock your legs, roll forward, weight on your toes, pull, elbows up. Touch your forehead. Stomach in. Again, if the forehead isn't touching, you're working towards that. If you can't grab your heels and step on the fingers, hands in front of you, now try to lock your legs. You feel the difference? Beautiful. That's your 100% benefit. Roll forward more. Weight on the toes. Elbows to the ceiling. Pull. Touch your forehead. Stomach in. Here's an important exit. Stomach in. Inhale. Come up. Keep your feet right here, right foot turns out, left toe stay forward, heels in one line. Bend your right knee, get low, add a little bounce, get down there. Your right leg is an upside down L. Your left hip is forward and down. Now squeeze that back leg. That's going to help you. It is a strength posture as well. Open your chest. Just move your arms. Elbow inside your knee. Fingers by big and second toe, but they're not on the floor. Or they may be pointing towards the toe. Look up. Chin on the shoulder. I love how Kathy brought her chin down and then looked up. Take a breath. Both arms stretch, feel the stretch in opposite direction, left hip forward, squeeze that back leg. Push your right knee back with your elbow. Upper body twist backwards, 
Left foot flat. Inhale, come up. Turn your right foot in, left foot out. So as I was saying, watch when Kathy goes down. Feel your body. And again, if you're newer, that's why it's beautiful to have an example here. Your right leg is strong. Marriage between the heart and lungs here. You're working strength. You're getting all kinds of benefits. Stay low. Your hips stay down. Open your chest and just move your arms. Elbow at the knee. It's called triangle. We have a triangle with the body and a triangle underneath your arm. Look up. Chin on the shoulder. Now take a breath. Look straight up your thumb. Right arm touches ceiling. Left arm to the toes. Both arms stretch. Right hip forward. Keep breathing. Push your left knee back with your elbow. Breathe. Upper body twist back. Right foot flat. Inhale. Come up. Arms overhead. Palms together. Cross thumbs. You may use, bring your feet a little bit closer, but three feet is wider than you think. All right, so make sure it's at least three feet. There is a benefit towards that. Stretch up. Turn on your heels to the right. Two heels line. Back foot 45 degree angle. Feel your left hip. We're talking about feeling. Doesn't You don't need the mirror. You can feel that left hip. Five more times push. Two hips align. Chin in, throat choke. Uncomfortable. It's okay. Exhale, round down. Now, why do three feet matter? It's going to help you get your forehead more to the knee and not your shin. So if you think stepping narrow is the better way to go, uh-uh. You got to step three feet. And if you're taller, even wider. Bend your knee when needed. Elbow straight. Knee can be bent, but elbow straight to get the full extension benefit through the back. Compression to the front. Shift the weight to the right foot. Two hips in one line. Lock your front leg quickly with the help of the forehead. Stomach in. Now watch this exit. Feel your body. Arms by your ears. Inhale. Come up. The exit matters. Stretch. Turn on your heels. Turn on your heels to the left. Turn your hips again. Two hips align. Two heels align. Stretch. Right hip. Push it again. Chin in. Get the thyroid compression. Compression to the front of the body. Chin in. Belly in. Now use your breath. Exhale as you go down. Why? Restriction of blood flow to the front of the body. Extension through the back, which also restricts blood flow, and then we'll release it. You don't feel it like you do in the joints, but you're getting amazing benefit. Forehead on the knee. Belly pulled in tight. Elbows straight beyond your toes. Cross your thumbs. Throat choked. Breathe. Lock your front leg quickly. Stomach in. Inhale. Come up. Watch your exit. Good. Great mindfulness. Turn on heels to center. Right foot back. Arms down to the side. Tree pose. Now, right there, when you were exiting... Could you tell your mind was not chattering? You were out of your head. Your mind and body were together because you were focused on the balance. You were focused on stomach in. You were focused on coming up with control. That's how your mind re-energizes and feels better as well. Tree pose. Feet together. Grab your right foot from underneath with your left hand. Lift your knee high. Sole of the foot to the ceiling. Be careful of your knee. First, hips forward. Second, gently knee back. That is it. Look, one day, two knees in one line. See, at some point, Kathy's almost there. Knee not way out to the side. Stretch up, lean back. Two shoulders align. Right hand middle of the chest. Left hand up, but if your foot slips, just hold your foot. Stomach in, chest up, balance. Change, right leg down. Toes together. Grab your left foot from underneath. Lift it up high. Knee up high makes space for you to get a good stretch to the hip and pelvis area. Carefully, hips forward, knee back. Stretch up. 
Lean back, stretch up, hips and shoulders align. Left hand to the chest, right hand up or hold your foot, stomach in, chest up, balance. Change, leg down, toe stand. Feet together, bring your right foot to the middle of your thigh or wherever comfortable. If you need to hold your foot a minute, that's fine. Stomach in, hands, palms together, bend forward from the lower spine with the straight standing leg. If you don't touch the floor, you just keep working on that reach with the standing leg. If two hands touch, weight on your hands, bend your knee, let your heel come up, sit back lightly on your heel. Traction your spine, stretch up, realign your neck with the spine, suck your stomach in, knees parallel to the floor. Left hand middle of the chest. If you can balance, right hand up, palms together, balance. Change, put your hands on the floor, come up the opposite way you went down, feet together, arms to the side, great. Left side, bring your left foot up. I like it a little bit higher, but wherever you're comfortable, stomach in, palms together, Bend forward from the lower spine with a straight leg. Now, you feel that stretch, belly in, reach. Walk your hands forward even a little bit. Take it off the leg. Pressure is not on the knee. Bend your knee. Let your heel come up and sit back lightly. Heel is right in the center aligned with your spine. Stretch up, knees parallel. Neck in line with the spine, eyes still on the floor, four feet in front, left hand up, right hand up, palms together, stretch up, regain the gap, hips and heel. Change, put your hands on the floor, come up the opposite way. Yes, acknowledge your standing series, wonderful. Get a little water if you like, and we're right into the floor series. Beautiful job. So as we lie in Savasana, it's a great place. So many benefits to this posture. Yes, it is a posture. You lie there in as much stillness as you can, and you don't judge. No expectation on, are you releasing? Are you still? What are you doing? Just learn about it. That's it. It does have form, though. Heels touch. Feet relax open. Arms to the side, palms open, shoulders relaxed, head relaxed, chin in slightly, neck in neutral spine. Inhale, belly rise, exhale, belly fall. Peace. Peace does not mean to be in a place where there's no noise, trouble, or hard work. It means to be in the midst of all those things and still be calm in your heart. Relax, release, peace. Wind removing pose. Right leg lift up. Hold your leg two inches below the knee. Again, interlace grip, tight grip. Pull your knee down around and back to the shoulder. So just for today, and especially because you're not in the heated room, I want you to try something. Listen carefully, or you can see Kathy do it. Bend your left leg up for a minute, Kathy, and put your sole of your foot flat on the floor. Now, pull your right knee down more, and you're going to get more opening. Then slowly slide your left leg out. Flex your left foot, all slow and gentle. See if you got a little bit more opening, compression in the lower abdomen. Change, leg down, left leg up. Interlace grip, pull the left knee around the rib cage and back in so your foot, your knee and shoulder are aligned. Same thing, bend your right knee up, foot flat. Pull the knee in now. It should feel really good. There is nothing wrong with doing something that feels, Kathy's going, I like it, I like it. 
You feel more compression, helping the digestive system, stretching your glutes and your lower back. Then slowly you slide the right leg out. Flex your foot. Hold it there. Freeze. Change. Left leg down. Both legs up. Grab your elbows over your legs. Get nice and compact. Go where you can go. Maybe you can get your wrist. You go where you can go. If you can get your elbows, you must do that. Chin in. Push your tailbone down. Freeze. Eventually, whole spine flat on the floor. Change. Legs down, arms down, right to savasana. Transitioning with straight leg sit up. It is one of the postures. Great for strengthening the back. Here we go. Feet flexed, heels on the floor. Drill those heels in. Touch your ankles together. Suck your stomach in, arms overhead. Palms open, only cross your thumbs. Chin in slightly. Inhale, breathing. Quickly sit up. Grab your big toes. Forehead to knees, elbows to floor. Good sit-ups. Turn around, lie down on your stomach for spine series, cobra. Chin on the towel. Hands under your shoulders, close to your chest. Flat palms. Baby fingers in, thumbs with the index fingers. Flatten them out, elbows in, shoulders down. Cobra tight tail. This is gonna matter for all three of the next postures. Feet flat, push all 10 toes down. Squeeze your thighs tight. Squeeze your glutes. That's a cobra. Tight tail. You got your cobra tail, Kathy? She says yes. Look up. Inhale. Come up. It matters. Come up to the belly button. Now breathe. 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 If you're not to the belly button, a little pressure. Elbows are into the body. Elbows stretch down to your hips. Chest up. Look up. Shoulders down. Gently come down, look to the right, left ear on the towel, relax the legs, on your stomach, toes touch, heels open, savasana. Second set, chin on the towel, hands under your shoulders, fingertips in line with top of the shoulders, elbows in, cobra tight tail, Look up, look up, inhale, come up, come up. So yes, 100% back strength, but until you get to the point where literally you're using 100%, use a little pressure with your hands just to get to the belly button. Elbows stay a 90 degree angle. That's the balance, belly button and elbows a 90 degree. Elbows stretch down to your hips, touching the body, chest up, look up, shoulders down. Gently come down. Look to the left. Give your neck that nice alternative stretch. Even that, turning your head side to side. Be aware of it. Let your ear melt into the towel. Feels so good. Locus. Arm straight position. Hands, palms touching the floor. Lift your hips up. Put your body on top of your elbows. Elbows invisible under the body. If the elbows are not straightening all the way, that's your first goal, step by step. Once they're straight, body on top, they might hurt. It's okay. Open your fingers, push. Push back towards your toes. Chin on the towel. Right leg locked. Relax your left. Right leg up. Come up. Thigh tight. Lift up, sole of the foot like balancing stick to the ceiling, align your hips, come up more, lift up more, come up, change, left leg lock, point in. Inhale, left leg lift up, thigh tight. Sole of the foot, if you turn it to the ceiling, you'll feel those hips realign. Leg up, push with your hands, come up, change. Mouth on the towel, readjust your arms. So you're working your forearms closer under the body. This is your lifting platform. Take a deep breath, you're there. Both legs lift up from the floor, yes. 
Come up. Feet back together. Struggle. Don't give up. Come up. Lift up. Come up. Gently down. Arms come out. Look right and breathe. And let your eye muscles relax. Find a little focal point on the edge of your towel. And when you do that, eyes find a focal point and calm the mind and body calm very quickly after that. Slow exhale. Full locus, middle third of the spine, arms out to the side like airplane wings. Palms flat again, never cupping. Squeeze your fingers together. Reach for the opposite wall or opposite corner of the room. Tight cobra tail. Take a deep breath. Arms, head, legs, everything lift up. Lift up, look up. Arms up, nice, Kathy. Fingertips up in line with top of the head or even higher. Now arms back, open your chest. Chest up. Breathe. Legs up, hold it here. Exhale, come up more. Gently down. Arms come in. Look to the left, toes touch, heels open, and just breathe. Inhale, slow exhale. Lower, upper, middle spine. Now all together. Chin on the towel, bow pose. Bend your knees. Grab your feet from the outside, two inches below the toes. So if you're used to a different style of yoga, that's the beauty of all these online courses. You can get the bet. They're not one's right or one's wrong. Here we grab below the toes. Sometimes you might be used to grabbing the ankle. You're just going to feel it different. Bring your knees in. Use your muscles. Bring them in. It's important. It's going to change your bow. Push your abs down, push your soft part of your belly down, take a breath, kick up and continuously kick. Gorgeous. Roll forward, look at her toes right in the center, but you're staying on the soft part of the belly. You're right there. Knees in, head up more, head up. Knees in, keep them in, point your toes, kick up. Gently down, work on those exits, just like we did beginning of class. Every posture, look to the right. Every posture, beginning, deepest point, exit, and end. It is all a benefit. Even lying in Savasana, amazing benefit. Second set, chin on the towel. Hold your feet two inches below the toes. Wrist straight, six inches, knees and feet. Already, you feel yourself working those knees in. Relax your shoulders. Take a deep breath, kick up. Kick up, never stop kicking. Roll forward onto the soft belly. Kick up, you're breathing. Head up more, it matters. Head up, knees in, point your toes. Kick up, gently down. Look left. Make your next breath a little deeper than your last. Now, when I said about the benefit of Savasana, what if you just laid in Savasana? Amazing. No expectation. You're listening to your body and your mind. And before you know it, when you let go of all that, should I, oh, I better do the pose, blah, blah, blah. And you just say, this is what I need. Guess what happens? All of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm ready now. So it's just it's listening for each moment to your body, to your mind, getting them working together. All right, your spine is very happy. Put your chin on the towel, hands under your shoulders, push yourself up, come to the top of the towel, fix firm. Sit knees and feet together. Start sitting on your ankles. Hands can go down as you separate your feet to sit between your heels. Now, if your hips are down, that's okay. This is where you're gonna stay. When your hips are down, toes facing straight back, not out to the side or in, hands on your feet, thumbs inside. Right elbow, left elbow. If you can go further, top of the head, back of the head, your whole body's down there. Now you grab your elbows over your head. Pull your arms into the floor. Now feel this. 
Really be in the moment and feel it. Lift your chest, knees together, more arch in the spine, more medical benefits, such a great posture for the immune system as well. Chin in, knees together, knees never off the floor, including the exit. Hands on your feet. Use your elbows carefully, come up. Release your legs, turn around, right into Savasana. Breathe. Remember, if you're breathing, you've got big part of the class down. Often we want to hold our breath. So if you ever get headaches, feel a little dizzy, it's usually not the posture. It can't be other things, but usually it's you holding your breath. So if you're kind of right now going, ah, you'll start noticing when you work harder. And it doesn't mean because you're a beginner. When people are like, I'm going for it. I'm extra feeling it today. Often what happens is their posture looks great, but they're not feeling good because you're holding your breath. So always, always do what, Kathy? Breathe. Breathe. Here we go. Feet together. Flex your feet. Heels on the floor. Arms overhead. Inhale. Sit up. Forehead to knees, elbows to floor. Turn around, half tortoise. Sit knees and feet together, ankles flat. Arms overhead, palms together. Stretch up, half tortoise. Push your ankles down. Push your hips down. Stretch, exhale, go down. Forehead touch. Edge of the baby fingers touch. Elbows locked. Chin forward. Aim the tip of the nose towards the towel. Push your hips back. Squeeze up to the wrist. Remember half moon? We talked about that. Do it again. You're going to get, again, the upper part of the back more. Stretch. Breathe. Stomach in. Inhale. Push your feet down. Come up. Arms and head together. Work on that exit. Exhale. Arms down. Turn. Relax. Breathe. Feet together, flex your feet, arms overhead, cross your thumbs. Inhale, sit up, grab your big toes, elbows to floor, turn around, camel. Everybody together, come to the top of the towel, stand on your knees. If this is all you do, great. You're there, you're setting intention. Hands on your hips, ready to go into camel. Elbows back, lift your chest, hips forward, Drop your head. Go halfway back. Stop in the middle. Right hand, right heel, thumb outside. Left hand, left heel. If you do not reach the heels, then hands back on your hips. Otherwise, get a good tight grip. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, push. Push so much that you feel you have to grip harder on your heels from going forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, push, push. Put your hands on your hips first. Push yourself up. Stop in the middle. Turn around. Relax. Breathe. Opening the whole front of the body. Compressing the back. There's a lot of emotion on the front of the body too. So it's a great posture for that as well. Releasing that. Opening up. Second set. Feet together. Heels on the floor. Flex. Arms overhead, belly in, inhale, sit up, forehead to knees, elbows to floor. Turn around, second camel. Come to the top. You may open your knees a little wider if you need a deeper arch. But if you're good, stay at six. Ankles are flat, toes face straight back, hands on your hips. Here's the secret. Always reach for your heels. Why? You're not going to know otherwise when you are ready to reach them. So always reach. If they're not, your heels aren't there. Hands on your hips. Here we go. Inhale, lift. Hips forward. Drop your head. Go halfway back. Always breathing. Right hand, right heel. Left hand, left heel. Thumbs outside. Palm to heel grip. Hold on. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale. Stomach, legs, hips Forward, hold on so you don't go forward too much. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, push, push. Hands on your hips. Push yourself up. Stop in the middle, gorgeous. Turn around, 
relax. Ooh, a good camel feels good. And always remember that. If you're laying there thinking, oh, I don't want to do camel ever, remember how you feel right now. Feet together, flex. Arms overhead, stomach in, inhale, sit up. Grab your big toes. That matters. Forehead to knees, turn around, grab it. Sit knees and feet together. Put the towel on your feet for a good dry grip. Thumbs outside, cup your heel. It's the only inversion where there's some pressure on top of the head, so we want a good dry grip. Chin in, throat choked, belly in. Now use your breath. Exhale, round down. Forehead to knees, top of the head, touch. Pull. Exhale again. Lift your hips. Look how we're using the breath. Roll forward till elbows are straight. The goal here, inhale, lift your hips. Pull your belly button to your backbone. Squeeze your heels in. Shoulders away from the ears. Hips up. Come up. Pull as you exit. One vertebra at a time. Turn. Relax. Opening up the whole back of the body. Compressing the front. And it's okay. Some of us are backward benders. Some are forward benders. If the forward bend feels easy, if you're still getting amazing benefit compressing the front of the body. So you're doing great. Here we go. Feet together. Flex. We're there. Arms overhead. Stomach in. Inhale. Sit up. Forehead to knee. Elbows to floor. Head to knee with stretching. Right leg out cornerwise. Left leg in, sole of your left foot creates pressure on the inner right thigh. Arms up, interlace, now stretch up and turn first, grab your foot. Interlace, grip below the toes, not the arch. Bend your knee if needed to get the interlaced grip. Tuck your chin, put your forehead on your knee. Bending it is fine. Pull your belly in again. Elbows in, you're getting compression benefit, extension through the back. Left shoulder in, left elbow in, left knee on the floor. Change, left leg out, right leg in, 90 degree angle. Stretch up, interlace, turn, grab your left foot. Pull your toes back. You're flexing Achilles tendons above the heel. Chin in. Put your forehead on your knee, elbows in, stomach in, roll into your right, change. Both legs out in front, lie down on your back. The moment you touch, sit up, grab your big toes, index the middle finger. Hook your toes, walk your hips back, right, left, right, left. Hopefully won't, we won't lose you Instagram. I'm trying to get it in without rushing you guys. Lift up, belly in with locked legs. Bend your elbows towards the floor. If they're not locked, stay right there. But if they're locked, thighs tight, bring the elbows in. Bend forward from the lower spine. Pull. Now notice Kathy's looking at her toes. You look at your toes. Pull. Forehead to your toes. Change. Go right into spine twist. Bend your left knee. Put your right foot over. Right foot flat. Heel up by your knee. Sit up. Point your left toe behind you. Straighten your spine. Left hand up over your knee. Push your knee. Grab your knee on the floor. If you can't grab your knee, grab your towel. Hand at the base of the spine. Lift up. Wrap the right arm around. Grab inner thigh. Or as a beginner, if you need to work on the hips down, hand on the floor. Look over the right shoulder. Chin over the shoulder. Whole spine twist, top to bottom. Use your arms for leverage. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist. Change. Bend your right knee on the floor. Put your left foot over. Left foot flat, heel way up by your knee. Point the right toe behind you. Sit up, bring your right arm up over your knee. Push your knee with your elbow. Grab your knee on the floor or your towel. Hand at the base of the spine. Lift up. Wrap your left arm around. Grab inner thigh or at the base of the spine if needed. Slowly look over the left shoulder. 
chin over the shoulder. Ah, oh, beautiful spine twist at the end. Exhale, twist, twist, last chance, twist, change. Turn around, lie down, last sit up, final breathing. Feet together, flexed, arms overhead. You got it. Inhale, sit up, forehead to knees. Face the front, sit knees and feet together. Hands on your knees, elbows straight. All you're going to think about is the exit. Start with your abs loose. It's like blowing out a candle. Ready? Begin. Chest up. Shoulders down. Elbows straight. Make it strong. Use that exhale. Use that abdominal strength to push all the air out. A little bit faster. You got this. You're there. Warriors, that's what you are. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, beautiful. Thank you, Kathy. Everybody lie down on your back. Take a moment here as long as you need. You did amazing. And I say warriors because, you know, Nothing's ever perfect if you're a warrior. You just keep moving forward. You do what you can do to take care of you, which of course helps take care of everybody else. Have an amazing rest of the day, rest of the night. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. See you soon.